Please take your seats quickly, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you. Hi, guys, and welcome to One Minute Tennis.com. In today's session, I want to talk to you about the kick serve. I want to show you what pronation is on the kick serve and a really simple way of getting pronation into your kick serve to create more power, a fiercer bounce, just a better serve. Now, put simply, pronation is when we turn the limb away from the body or the thumb into the body. So when I turn my hands that way, I've made pronation. If I walk like that, I have pronated feet. As far as it goes, if I walk like that, I have supinated feet. The reason that pronation is desirable in the serve is that it extends the follow through of the actual motion right in the heart of the movement. Let's just reverse engineer and now remove any wrist movement at all. And that's the fastest that I can move. It's how a lot of recreational players serve. And that's pretty slow. And now we'll add flexion. Flexion is where the wrist goes this way. And now we've added quite a bit of speed. Nothing and with flexion. And now, obviously, there's the arch of the back and the swing of the arm. But up there, right up in contact with the ball, I'll turn to this direction so you can see it. I'm now going to add pronation where I turn the hand away. So I have flexion and pronation. And this is definitely quicker. It's a little bit like if you think of a 100 meters race. They have a finishing line. Why don't they have a finishing wall? Um, it would be quite amusing as the players crash into the wall. But obviously the race would get considerably slower because they can't carry on and accelerate through the end of the race. The same with here. If I accelerate through with no movement of the wrist, it's almost like the wall. If I accelerate through with flexion, I have more speed. But now the maximum acceleration I can have is with flexion forwards and rotation to the side. And now I have pronation. But in the kick serve, this can be really confusing because it's kind of difficult to get the extended finish when the natural movement is to carve around the ball. What we're looking for is flexion and pronation, which then recovers around the body. When you do achieve it, then you'll get a much bigger bounce, you'll get more speed, even the sound will harden up as instead of getting a kind of skimming sound, you have a hard contact on what is a powerful and fast serve with a lot of topspin. And a great way of getting the feel of this is to have a reverse finish. Now, I don't suggest that you actually finish the way I'm going to show you. This is a way of getting the feel for the swing path of the kick serve with pronation. And then when you've got it, you can put this swing path into your normal stroke and your normal ending. But this is the ending that I want you to try and do. Go up to the ball, make the stroke, and finish with the racket behind your back. Again, go up, make the stroke, and finish with the racket behind your back. When you do this, it is impossible not to create pronation. And it's very important because now I'm thinking about the ending of the stroke. I'm not thinking about controlling this part here when I really need to be free, free of thought, free of concentration, free of interference. I'm thinking about the ending. So now to demonstrate this, I'm going to go really slow so you can see the movement. So I go up, kick, and topspin. And that had pronation. Now, instead of carving around the ball this way, I carved around the ball and continued to project the racket with acceleration away from the contact point. Quite simply, I was swinging faster. Once you've practiced this a few times, you might want to shadow stroke it coming across and behind and across and behind. Then it's pretty natural to come across and move into a natural finish to the serve over to the left, sometimes a little bit further in front than the full flat or slice serve. So try this movement. It really is. It's very unnatural. But when you get the feel of it, it's super effective. Don't know if the camera will pick this up, but even the sound of my kick serve then, it sounded like a flat serve and yet the ball had curve and effect and a very significant lift. So again, you're going up to the serve, reverse finish, and then repeat the movement, but this time with the correct finish. I hope this makes sense because it's a great way of adding pronation, racket speed, more power, more spin into your serve. If you like this or any other of my ideas, check out the books on Amazon. In the books, we have detailed breakdown of the biomechanics and science of the strokes, and then really simple solutions clearly illustrated such as this. 
They're designed to really help you take your game to the next level. Or join players in over 40 countries all over the world who I'm helping with online coaching. We provide a truly unique, personalized service, creating videos such as this for your game to take your game to the next level. So to really accelerate your kick serve and add Pro Nation to give you the maximum racket speed, the maximum spin, the maximum effect, and yet still with safety, begin by swinging away from the body and bringing the racket into this reverse finish. Then make the same motion and the reverse finish is in front of the body and you'll have a more powerful, more effective and awesome kick serve today. Thanks for watching and see you next time for more unique tennis lessons that really work.